everyone. Welcome back to another weekly episode of The Tribe. We are your hosts. My name is Kyle. And my name is Hannah. We all hope you enjoyed last week's episode. This week, we have a shorter episode, but it will definitely be an exciting one. Including info on DHS this week. Let's, Let's get, get started, started with The, the Tribe. tribe. Hi, I'm Tyler Correa, and welcome back to The Tribe. I'm here with one of Dartmouth High's new math teachers. Mrs. Vieira. So, Mrs. Vieira, do you like it here at DHS? Yes, I do. I'm having a great time. Uh, the kids are very nice and polite. Um, the staff here is also very uh, polite, so I'm having a great time so far. Where have you been before DHS? Well, before coming here, I was uh, at New Bedford High School for 19 years, uh, where I also graduated from New Bedford High School. Um, what do you enjoy most about teaching? Uh, I like the interaction with the kids. I think the kids are uh, very funny and entertaining and I learn a lot from them. So what made you want to become a teacher? Uh, well, I come from a family of teachers, so um, and I knew from early on that I wanted to interact with kids and work with kids. So I think I've known all along I wanted to be a teacher. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, what is one thing you need in the classroom? Um, I think what I need is um, art. Like I like to have, you know, markers and colored pencils and markers. Just have the kids make something out of math, uh, something whether they create or they draw something. What is your number one rule in class? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, number one rule, I guess, not to stress too much. Um, just take it as a learning experience. If you fail a test or if you fail um, a classwork assignment, don't let it get you down, and just learn learn from it and try to overcome it. And not let it defeat you. Oh, that's those are good words to, to like remember. Um, and then, what is your favorite part of math? Uh, well, I like all of it. Um, the math, I don't know. I like um, the graphing. I guess the solving. Anything. I think everything in math so to me is. Yes, I like all of math. Yeah. So as you can see, we have a very good new teacher here at DHS, um, Mrs. Vieira, um, the tribe. Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Lindsay Bedard and I'm the captain of the girls soccer team. Hi, I'm Callie Andrea and I'm also a captain of the girls soccer team. Hi, I'm Casey Good. I'm a captain of the girls soccer team. Okay, so, so far this season, how's your team looking? We're looking great. Lots of dubs. Yeah. Good. Who do you think will be your biggest competitor this season? Our biggest competitor will probably be BR. They gave us our first loss yesterday. What are your predictions on how the rest of the season is going to turn out? I think the rest of the season is going to be pretty good. Um, we're going to win a lot, I would say. Maybe a hiccup against BR, but we're playing on turf, so probably a win. That's good. Thank you. My name is Ben Payne, and I'm a boys soccer captain at Dartmouth High. My name is Nathaniel Fernandez, also captain at Dartmouth High. How is your team looking so far this season? So far we're doing pretty well. Uh, we're 6-0-2. We have a tie against Brockton and New Bedford, but they've always been good competition, and uh, we're looking really good for the season. What team do you think will be your biggest challenge this season? Well, uh, in our division, the number one ranked team is Nauset Regional, so probably them. They're probably going to be the biggest challenge. What are your predictions on how the rest of the season will turn out? Um, so far we've been pr doing pretty well and uh, I think that we've got good potential and uh, hopefully we can make a deep run the past couple of years. We've lost in the first round of the tournament and uh, we're really hoping to turn it around this year. Awesome, thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Vieira, for doing that new teacher interview with us. And a big thanks to the boys and girls soccer captains for giving us some information about their teams. Coming up next, we have Monster Weather with a brand new monster this week. And following that, we will also have our weekly comedy segment, which will surely make you laugh. Let's, Let's get, get started, started with, with this, this week's spectacular, spectacular Monster Corner. Corner. 
Welcome back to Monster Corner. And today I'm doing something stupid. This is stupid. This is not a monster. This is a person with a pumpkin on his head dancing. There's nothing I can do with this. It's not a monster. Which is why I can't do other things like clowns. Because those aren't monsters. Those are people in clown costumes. I'm like, do you want me to also do a, a, cor a segment on people dressing up as pandas dancing? Should I do that too? Ooh, or maybe on ballerinas with knives. Ooh, scary, spooky. It's not. It's not scary or spooky. Like, these aren't monsters. These are people. I'm out. I said no pumpkin head! Get off! Okay, so seeing that we have no actual weatherman, I guess I gotta fill in. So Saturdays, you're gonna get partly rainy skies, high 67, lows 51. Sundays, you're gonna get a chance of rain as well, highs going to 67, lows being 49. Monday, you're gonna get a chance, partly sunny skies. 63 degrees high, 47 degrees low. Tuesdays, there's going to be a chance of a thunderstorm. Highs going to 62, lows being 46. I said get off! Ah! Wednesday is um, chance of rain thunderstorms. The high is 60, and the low 48. Thursday is chance of thunderstorms. Um, rain. And the high is 56 and a little 42. Friday is change of Okay, hold it, hold it. How many weathermen did you guys get for this exactly? Uh, My man. Like, isn't this expensive to have multiple weathermen? Is it three it, to have weathermen? Yeah, like, well, why do we have three? Because Mr. Coy said that we need a lot of weathermen to do the weather today. Friday, more thunderstorms, highs 59, lows 47. We're done I'm supposed to say Friday. Hi folks, I'm Chef Spaghetti and I'm here to tell you how to hack your lunch. Today what we're going to be making is I packed a simple little lunch in here, a normal lunch that someone would have, and we're going to, we're going to first thing, we're going to take out two mugs, extra large. We're going to take out two extra large mugs and set them aside, because what we're going to make is going to require them. It's going to be very good. We're going to take out a large mixing bowl, and first thing on the menu we have one banana, and you know, it's just a normal banana, and you can get it at any uh, local supermarket. What you're gonna do is you're gonna gently dice the banana. Just gently dice it up. Nice and, yeah, there we go. Nice small chunks, and you're gonna put those banana chunks right into the bowl. And that, what that does is it adds the flavor, and it adds the, uh, uh, what makes it rise, the mug cake rise. Next, you're gonna take your uh, half pint of cream here, and it's very important when you pour the half pint of cream, is don't add the whole thing, just half of it. Make sure that you do not add the whole thing because if you add the whole thing, it'll just get too creamy and it just won't be as good. So make sure you don't add the whole thing. What's up next is we have the regular sweet and crunchy granola bar. What that does is it just, it just uh, adds the texture, adds some flavor. It just adds it, makes it very nice. We're gonna crush that up and 
So you put the wrapper right in, it's biodegradable, completely harmless, non-toxic. The last little, little flavor, little zest, and you got some, you got some uh, beef flavor. And so that's, that just adds a nice touch. It just adds a little, little saison, a little serzois, you know, you know what it is, cooking terms. Um, the last very imperative thing that you do is you take your pretzel stick and you mix it with the pet pretzel stick. Not only does it add the flavor, but it also just mixes everything nicely and at the same time just add a little bit of add a little bit of flavor of your choosing. Just adds to adds to the cake, adds to the ensemble. So once you've had all that nice and mixed up, you can add the pretzel right in there. It's all mixed up nice and nice and good. You're gonna take your two mugs and you're gonna split the batter right down the middle and just carefully pour, carefully pour that in there. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna pour that right in there. There you go, and you got two, two fully made. And you're just gonna pop that in the microwave for mm, about five minutes. I'm just gonna pop that right in there. There we go. And close it. And we wait. Beautiful. Oh! Looks like our mug cakes are ready. Let's take a look. Oh wow, look at those beauties. Wow, I can't wait to try this. Can't wait to eat this for lunch, I'm so excited. Speaking of lunch, let's see what's on this week's menu. Thanks guys. Well, what's for lunch? Monday. Domino's Pizza and Pasta Salad. Tuesday is gonna be Turkey BLT, Coleslaw and Chips. Well, 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 what's for lunch? Chicken fajitas, baked beans, and rice. And it's Wednesday too. Thursday is gonna be French meat pie, mashed potatoes and peas. Ooh, ooh. Friday is gonna be grilled cheese, potato puffs, and broccoli salad. That comedy segment was hilarious. Yeah, but that monster was very cool to learn about. Following those great segments, we will have our story on DHS this week. Now to our reporting crew with some new info about DHS. Hi everybody, it's Ms. Soulard from the Guidance Office and I wanted to let you know about the Newport County College and Career Fair that will happen on October 20th from 5.30 to 7.30 at Tiverton High School. And I want to encourage all students to get out there because it's never too early or too late to go to a college fair. If you're a senior, this is a great opportunity for you to meet the person who's probably going to be reading your college application so they can put a face with a name. And if you're a freshman, a sophomore, or a junior, it's a good chance for you to get started on what is probably going to be an exciting four years of your life after high school. There'll be over 100 colleges there and career training programs as well. So if you're thinking that four-year college isn't for you, you should still go because there's going to be some career stuff there too. And it's fun. It's a good opportunity for you to get a group of your friends together, head to Tiverton High School, and make a good time of maybe your first of many college fairs. If you have questions, come on up to the guidance office. I have this posted on my door if you want to see the list of schools, or you can visit the website at tivertonschools.org. I really loved that story about our school. Yeah, I really enjoyed learning about what's going on here. This week's episode was fantastic. And we all hope you enjoyed it. Now that our third episode has come to an end, here's what's coming up next week on The, the Tribe. Tribe. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx. Jinx again. Our mental synchronization. Can How do you know all the words to this? You and I were just meant to be. be.